So is it a good deal or a waste of money? We're going to answer that question in this video. Hello family. Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. I am Vicki and you're with Grammy in the Kitchen. So let me get you all caught up. The husband was out doing some errands over the weekend and he calls me and he says he stopped at Ollie's. O-L-L-I-E-S. They have canning jars. Did you need some canning jars? And I'm like, well, how big are the jars? And he goes, there are 16 ounces, which we know is a pint. And I go, how much are they? He says, well, there are 10 count and they're $8.99 for the case of 10. And I was like, that's really odd. They always come in 12. Why is this 10? So he sends me a picture and I look at it and I'm like, yeah, go ahead and get them. I mean, it's $8.99. If you're a canner, you know that jars can be really, really expensive. And if you could find them at a thrift store or someone selling them on Marketplace or if somebody's having them on sale, you grab canning jars. So I told him, yeah, go ahead and get me two cases. And he did. And I don't know what it's called. P-A-K-S-H. I have no idea what this is. So he picked me up two, and they're just regular amount, pint-sized mason jar, and they come with 10. They came with the lids and the rings. I will not be using the lids. I will only be using four jar lids. It's my favorite lid. But I have a couple things I want to can this weekend anyway. So I'm planning on taking all my chicken bone scraps and the things that go with my chicken broth out of the freezer, putting it on the countertop roaster and letting it roast for a couple days and I want to get those in the jars. Not that I need any more chicken stock, but I need to empty out my freezers from all the scraps. And also, I took out three of our pork roast that we got on sale a couple months ago out of the freezer because I need to make the husband some more pork barbecue and get those in jars. I am not going to be using the new jars for canning the contents that I want to preserve because I don't know the integrity of these jars yet. So what I am planning on doing is while I've got the canner on the stove, either cooking the chicken stock or the barbecue, I'm going to fill these up with water and can these along with the products that we'll be canning just to see if they hold up. I'm not going to waste my four jar lids on here. I will be using the lids that came on these because it's going to be a waste anyway. Looking at the lids, there are some differences. But that's okay. So this one is a four jar lid. And this is the lid that came with the jars. So I'll be canning some water in these jars to go in the canner with the chicken stock. And also with the pork barbecue. Chicken stock in quarts has to pressure can for 25 minutes and pork or any meat in pint sized jars has to can for 75 minutes. So I'll see how they do and then we'll have the answer to that question. Worst case scenario, they're not going to be good for canning, but they'll be okay for storage and then I can get my good canning jars from my storage. Put those back in my rotation of canning and just use these for storage. No big loss. But if they do work at that price, $8.99 for 10, that's a plus plus. So the last time I bought canning jars was over the weekend or before the weekend. I was able to find two cases of wide mouth pint jars and that's what I like to can meats in for 
$14.97. So it's roughly about $1.25 a jar. If these work, fingers crossed, that's only 90 cents a jar. So that's a big savings. But only time will tell. I'll keep y'all posted. We're ready to go ahead and get started on our chicken stock. We're canning our chicken stock. I put all my bone scraps in some water, bay leaves, peppercorn, in the countertop roaster, and I let it roast for over 24 hours. And then I turned it off, strained it, got all the bones and bits out of it. Then I put it in my two gallon stock pot, stuck it in the refrigerator for two days just so that fat can solidify on the top. This morning I got up, scooped all that fat off, put the pot on the stove, and I'm warming that up. So we have the chicken stock in this two gallon pot. I got my canner coming up to temperature. Today is the day we're going to test our cheap mason jars or canning jars that we got from Ollie's just to see how they hold up. Again, I'm only going to put water in here so I don't lose the contents if the jar does break. But we'll find out if this was a good deal or a waste of money. I'm going to go ahead and get everything ready so that when you come back, we're ready to get started. The pint jar that we are testing today I'm just going to go ahead and put the original lid on there and the original ring and we're going to put this in the canner first. And I'm going to go ahead and work on the chicken stock. This is very, very concentrated. I put a lot of bones and vegetable scraps. Now the reason it's really, really yellow is because I use onion scraps, which is the outer pill of the onions. Now if you want a pure chicken stock, leave out your vegetable scraps and it will be a clear color. But I like the flavor the scraps give it, so that's what we're going for. So we're pressure canning, so we need to go to an inch headspace which is that bottom ring right there. I have a little bit of vinegar and a paper towel. We're going to wipe the rims. A brand new four jar lids, which is my favorite. ring just fingertip tight and in the canner And we're just going to repeat the process. I'm going to go ahead and add some vinegar to my water. Not necessary, but it helps keep the deposits building up on your jars. So I did a visual around the gap 
between the lid and the bottom is evenly distributed around the, the base of the canner. I have it set on medium heat and we're just going to go through the process of canning. And now if you're interested in making a no cost chicken broth in your house, it has to be pressure canned because it's a low acid food. All low acid food must be pressure canned. We are canning our chicken stock in quarts and that's a process of 25 minutes. I do have videos out about no cost chicken stock. Please go check that video out. And let's pray that those cheap jars that the husband got from Ollie's it's a success. Fingers crossed. Let's see. The moment of truth is here. We're going to go ahead and take out our chicken stock. So we only have six quarts of chicken stock and they all sealed perfect with that four jars lids. Now it's the moment of the truth. Let's get that test jar out. And it survived. Okay. So we're going to let these cool. I'm going to finish the second batch, which is probably not even a whole canner of chicken stock. Then we're going to can the pork, put that same jar with the same water, but with a new lid and do it for 75 minutes and see what happens there. So far, 25 minutes under the pressure works. After I took out the last jars out of the canner, I went ahead and processed the last bit of the stock, which gave me three more quarts. So they're going in the canner. And I just looked up on the internet for my All American 921 canner that holds seven quarts. The minimum I can can is two quarts or four pints. I've got three quarts, so we're in the safety zone. Last one going in. And as for the test jars with the water, I did replace the lid, but it's the same jars with the same water, the same rings. Just got a new lid on here. So that would be canning number two on the same jars. Let's see how this does. I went ahead and put vinegar in the canner. Now we're going to go ahead and process that once it comes up to pressure for 25 minutes. So let's check and see if that jar broke. While the canner was coming up to pressure for the steam to start Coming out, you know, we have to time that for 10 minutes. Before it got to that place, I heard a ping. I'm not sure if that ping was a jar breaking. But we're going to find out together. So I need to let it sit here in this position for five minutes. So that's a 
chicken broth. And our jar of water. Survive the second round. So we just have one more test for this jar when we can our barbecue pork. So far, I'm impressed. If you're looking for some good canning lids, you know the only ones I use is four jars. I absolutely love them. Absolutely love them. They're the only canning lids I use. I will not use anybody else. Go check out four jar lids. Go to fourjar.com. Once you're ready to check out, put in Grammy 10 or use the link below. Go check them out. You'll get 10% off your first order. Day two of the cheap jar test. I have 14 pint-sized jars of pork barbecue. I have our new jars with water. I have a total of two. One's on the bottom, one's gonna be on top. Go ahead and add my vinegar. Now when we did the test with those jars with the chicken stock, which only took 25 minutes, they passed. I put the same jar in there twice for two different batches of chicken stock and they did not break. Now we're going to try it for 75 minutes because that's the pressure time for meat and the pork barbecue. Hey, it's meat. So we're going to test two jars. We have one on the bottom and one on the top to see if they survive those. If they are, then I will suggest at your own risk, if you got a discount store and you have something like an Ollie's in your neighborhood, just go ahead and pick them up. The testing is over. So we ended up with nine quarts of chicken stock that we processed in two separate batches. Each one of those was with one of our test jars. And we also did two batches of our pork barbecue. First batch, we had 14 jars of pork barbecue with two of our test jars. And this batch, we did five pints and one half pint. with one of our test jars. So I have the answer to the question. A good deal or a waste of money? I can safely say with the jars the husband picked up at Ollie's was a good deal. Do I think you should take my word on it? No, I don't. If you could find some inexpensive jars, if you're a canner and paying anywhere between 12 and $15 for a case of 12 jars is just unreasonable. And if you have an Ollie's or a discount store in your area and you can get a case and what we have is 10 jars or 12 jars and you can get it for under $10 or even just cheaper than you could get at the big box stores, I think, in my opinion, you should. But just to put yourself at ease, when you're canning your food, whether it's a water bath or a pressure canner, just put one of those jars in there with water 
and just make sure that you know you're not losing the contents in there if it does break go ahead and get the jars that's my opinion you can use your own discretion and I advise you to use your own discretion and I just want to do a shout out to four jars they sent to me an awesome package everybody knows four jars are my lid of choice when I do pick up a case of jars I don't use those lids for my canning I will replace those with four jar lids and I'll just use those lids as for my spice storage or something that I just need to refrigerate not for canning if you don't mind go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe I will love to have you part of the Grammy family so the answer to the question good deal or a waste of money it's a good deal go ahead and get you some jars guys go to your discount store if you have an Ollie's in your area go ahead and visit Ollie's and get you some jars until next time y'all have a blessed day bye family